Watch the physics of wetting in action. Water forms almost spherical droplets on the leaf, but it spreads and completely wets the skin of the snail. What makes water behave so differently on the two surfaces? Let's first understand why liquids form droplets on surfaces. Molecules in liquids, such as water, attract one another. A molecule in the middle of the water droplet is attracted by neighboring molecules and forms bonds in all directions. The attraction forces balance and cancel out. A molecule in the water surface, however, loses half of its bonds because it cannot interact that strongly with the air or the leaf molecules. As a result, the surface molecule feels a force that pulls it inwards. The combination of all these forces creates what's called surface tension, which tends to minimize the surface of the liquid by forming spherical droplets. Surface tension depends on how the molecules of the liquid interact with the surrounding media. Therefore, it's different for different surrounding media. In the case of the drop on the leaf, three surface tensions play a role. The water leaf, the leaf air, and the air-water tensions. The balance of these three tensions determines the extent to which water can wet the leaf. More accurately, this balance determines the contact angle between the droplet and the surface. The smaller the angle, the more the liquid wets the surface. In general, we talk about materials being hydrophilic when water wets them with a small contact angle, like the snail skin or hydrophobic when water partially wets them with a high contact angle, like the leaf. Wetting phenomena are important in many situations, from industry to biology. Recent research shows the importance of wetting inside cells in many situations. In this video, dense droplets of proteins, called protein condensates, wet the surface of the cell nucleus. Inside the nucleus, a structure called nucleolus is made of droplets completely wetting and coating other droplets. Also, protein condensates have been shown to wet specific location of the DNA surface, which might help regulate transcription. Researchers are starting to reveal the role of wetting phenomena in cells, and how the physics of wetting may help understand it. Watch other science sketches to learn more. <laughs>